20-year-old female who sustained a twisting axial load injury to her left foot playing soccer. Radiographs and CAT scans show a Liz Frank injury with a fracture at the base of the second metatarsal. Clinical evaluation reveals contusion over the plantar aspect of her foot. Once the swelling is reduced, patient is taken to the operating room. Patient is placed in a supine position with the foot facing straight up and down. Stress fluoroscopy is undertaken, confirming the instability of the Liz Frank construct in the diastasis between the second metatarsal base and the medial cuneiform. A small incision is made over the dorsum of the foot directed under fluoroscopy. Blunt dissection is continued down to the Liz Frank articulation. A freer elevator is then used to sweep out the Liz Frank articulation of any debris or invaginated ligamentous tissues. This can be done through a small percutaneous incision. In addition to this, the freer elevator can use, be used to plantarly depress the second metatarsal, which may be dorsally subluxed as part of the dislocation. A reduction clamp is then inserted through small incisions across the Liz Frank articulation between the second metatarsal base and the medial cuneiform. This is gently squeezed and tightened until the fracture is anatomically reduced. A guide pin is then placed across the Liz Frank articulation. I recommend doing this in a retrograde configuration initially and then exiting out the medial side of the foot and the pin can then be uh, taken through the medial side of the foot and advance back into position. This is technically a lot easier than trying to insert the pin anti-grade and can allow this to be done under direct fluoroscopy without any additional guides and allowing exact anatomical placement and length of the guide pin. Once this is checked fluoroscopically, a small incision is made over the pin site and the pin is over-drilled. As the guide pin penetrates through the uh, incision over the dorsum of the foot, this can be held with a hemostat or needle driver so that when the drill is removed, the pin positioning is not lost. A uh, fully or partially threaded cannulated screw is then inserted over the guide pin for this percutaneous procedure and inserted across the Liz Frank articulation. The screw is gently tightened down in position, but the screw should simply be holding the reduction and not creating the reduction. The reduction itself should be obtained utilizing the reduction clamp, and then the screw is simply tightened to hold this in position and prevent over-tightening of the Liz Frank construct and malreduction of the midfoot. The reduction is confirmed under fluoroscopic guidance, confirming that it is anatomically positioned, and repeat stress fluoroscopy should be undertaken, ensuring that the Liz Frank construct is stable, that it is anatomically aligned in all planes. This entire procedure is done through four uh, small incisions, one for the screw medially, one for a uh, small dorsal incision for the reduction, and then two incisions for the screw and the pin positioning. An atomic stable reduction can be obtained, allowing good results uh, of this injury. Thank you.